Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 16 of Sons of Carthage and Rome as Tunis, where today is going to be one of those quick days where we do that little bit of maintenance, because we've got a couple things to, uh, well, to fix here. Some of which may be the potential coalition that I got ourselves into last time, which I'm sure I'll be able to fix with relative ease, so long as we have the Ottomans, I don't think anyone will try and kill us. Uh, the Ottomans themselves are not too happy, for obvious reasons, but not unhappy enough to really actually betray me, so we're looking solid so far. Uh, one of the main issues that might come from anything is the fact that they do want my subject's land, and that's probably only going to increase as we take more and more from here. So, obviously, all of these are cores of Syria, uh, they actually have, like, a lot of cores. Like, a ton of cores, more than I realized. They have a god-awful, well, not a god-awful, but, a, like, a stupid number of cores everywhere. Which is great for us, obviously. But, uh, that's gonna be a point of tension in the future with the Ottomans. But, uh, so long as we call them into every single war that we have with the Mamluks, I can deny them any land in, uh, any land in this area, like, whatsoever. So, we should be fine for a while. Uh, another point to make is, what was it, uh, right, yes, about the whole Diplo, Diplo thing, because we're making six a month, and Sardinia Piedmont Mall just formed, that's a rare one, welcome toothpaste, don't, you don't usually see that around here, but okay, interesting, I suppose you really do only need tech 10 for that, so, well, interesting, cool. That just means it's a different name we'll have to take stuff from. Works the same for me, but anyways. Yeah, we're pretty much just chilling here. Uh, what was I gonna say? I got distracted. Also, Saleh and Tetuin? Tetuan, yes, you two. I don't even remember how you form, but... Nice little pirate republics there. And maybe one day I'll try and uh, play as them. Anyways. Remember I had a point, kind of lost it. I think it was about Diplo, yes. Because we're currently... Getting hit by a plus two each month. Uh, now I did the calculations. Naples would take like 20 years to integrate. Because my Diplo rep's bad, right? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty terrible. So it's going to take a while for that. Instead, if we focus solely on uh, trying to improve this by getting ourselves diplomatic relations plus one, that'll help out a lot with our Diplo. And then, of course, over here at the Diplo rep plus two, is when I'm actually willing to integrate things. For now, we'll just chillax. Algarbia over in here. Don't really want you to be that upset. And you're pretty decent. I kind of want to instant state this whenever I get the chance. Don't really want to give you more autonomy. Eh, unrest is unrest. You guys can be upset all you like. So long as I give this guy a new general. Oh, that's dangerous. Absolutely no problem there. I like, to, I like to play on the dangerous side of things. I remember back in the day when 80% would get you killed. So glad that's changed now, but... I don't know. Just had a quick flashback there. <sighs> My air falls ill. Now, let's be honest. You're not that good. However, I'm Catholic and I have a 70-year-old king. It's only 85 ducats. I mean, it's worth, it's worth a lot, and if you die, that's a big issue. If you die, it's a kind of involves into a into a really big problem. Please don't die. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay, solid stuff. Because um, yeah, we we kind of need to keep you around. There's no guarantee of an heir if you die, so you know, kind of important with a 70 year old king and no consort that you live. So, uh, speaking of which, just uh, just to speed up that process, let me just uh, you know. Give him a, a nudge in the right direction. You're, you're such a nice... You were such a nice king. Honestly, you were a fantastic king. Legitimacy. Corruption goes down. Silver tongue. You're so good. This guy sucks so much more. But you're gonna die anyway. So, unfortunately, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's just the way the, the cards get played, I suppose. Um, now that we have ourselves a bit of cash, I wouldn't mind hiring a level 2. Also because improve relations and, well, this Persia problem. Everyone's just forming nations today, I guess, huh? Well, yeah, you guys don't like me, but 
That won't be an issue soon. Just in about a year. The Mamluks perhaps are falling apart? No, that's Ethiopia that's falling apart. Who did you invade? Makuria? Huh, interesting. I'm surprised you're still alive, but I guess you have me to thank for that, don't you? And I have the Ottomans to, by proxy, thank for that as well. Okay, I probably don't need this fort up anymore. The one in Cairo. Ooh, so nice to have that city. 39 dev. Can you believe that? That's fantastic. Um, truce is over, but you don't hate me enough? True. In fact, you're kind of okay with me. And you've given me some good old points. Which I can use for taxation. Yes, indeed. Thank you for that. And what are my chances looking like? Not great, but not bad. I think I'll keep gaining my papal influence. I prefer the bonuses rather than being the Pope. Well, that's not necessarily true. I could crusade against Morocco. Yeah, but the Brits are their ally and so are the Ottomans. And uh, it's just a giant mess that we've made here. I'll have to drag the Ottomans into, into another Mamlux war, where the Mamluks are too weak to do anything about it. So the Ottomans can just raffle stomp them, and then I'll have to, uh, I guess, attack Morocco. And maybe call in Burgundy when we have the chance. I mean, Burgundy's not weak. They're, they're a great power, right? Yeah, they're pretty solid. 373. Not even half of, of Britain. Let's not worry about that too much. If Britain's doing the Britain thing, then they're not going to be doing much in terms of keeping troops maintained here. So maybe we'll have a chance. I don't know. I know it's an extremely, uh, you know, I have extreme confidence in that, but uh, yeah, we'll see if it works out. Oh, wait, did you just change back? <laughs> what? Sure. Okay, thanks. That works for me. I'm also wondering how strong the Reformation will be. Doesn't look too strong to me, but then then again, I'm looking at like the range that we have here. It's kind of ridiculous. Because if you can reach all the way out of here, I have no doubts that you can reach all the way into Pest as well. And I, I imagine Austria is going to get converted as well. Because this is so close. I'm sure you could reach all the way into the capital of, of Burgundy as well. Wouldn't doubt that. And you can probably convert Denmark. You're already doing stuff to Sweden. Yeah, I imagine it'll be a pretty decent reformation here. I'm hoping at least. If so, that's great. For me, because then I can daze volt my way across Europe, which is exactly what I want. Anyways, three mercantilism. Not in the mood for that, to be honest. Hmm. That's 300 Diplo equivalent. But I don't want you to be in my bad... I don't want to be in your bad graces. Three years until I can ask for cash. Don't want to mess up those three years, do I? But if there's another event, it's a big problem. <sighs> Fine, you win. You can have power for now. Rebel Uprising, the Mamlukian Separatists, I imagine will be 30,000 strong. 32,000? No, that was a little bit off. We can only have a 27 combat width, so... Do what we can here. Hopefully you don't rise up too fast. Just as I say that, 30%, an extra 10%, nice. Okay, so far so good. Just gotta wait another two more months, come on. Oh? Okay. Did I see? That's not independence, is it? No. Don't know why I saw that. Why was it telling me I have war goals against Aragon? Weird. Anyway. No, you're not going to destroy me yet. Okay, solid stuff. So that's a seven in the front. Four in the back, which is, well, it's not a great number, but it works at least. Um, Buhayada over here. I would like to make you into a state. We do have to wait a little while for that. Lose a stab or lose a stab. Ah, such vexing options you've given me. Missionary strength and tech cost, or the other way around. Uh, we have some decent time. We have, we have almost roughly 10 years, uh, but I know I'm going to take it immediately, aren't I? 
but also not, though. Either way, I'm losing a stab. I should probably replace the missionary strength back. Oh boy, do I have good missionary strength. Can always do for some more, though. Is that 73? This game's trying to rob me. This game's trying to... Is that 73 ducats a month? This game is definitely trying to rob me. No way. That's disgusting. I've never seen something more disgusting in my life. I don't even have an economy that produces 73 ducats. I make half of that. Come on. Really? That's what we're doing today? Okay, cool. I'm gonna go for missionary strength, though. I do have... I don't want to convert any of these things. Well, hold on. Yeah, no, I could do this. Then those costs are dropped to half, and then I guess I could convert this, like, uh, yeah, okay, sure, sure. Sure, that's fine. I'll do this. Rest in peace, my stab. Sure, that's fine. I don't really care that much, but I can do this and this. Um, you guys are attacking the fort. Cool. I can probably destroy you, right? Let me put on... Is that the prince of the... No, that's the king. Why does it have a prince thing there? That's weird. Okay, let's use this guy. He's good at fighting. Even though I want the king to die, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be that foolish. I'll just assign him afterwards. There you go. Ah, we'll rip the economy. But I'm sure that'll fix itself after reinforcements are sorted out. Uh, I also don't need these mercs anymore, do I? I might want them just in case. They do have 5% more discipline because of my traditions. Or because of my first idea, so... Nah, I suppose that's fine, sure. It's another core done. I could turn you into a state. Which I really want to do, actually. Even if I can't core the whole thing right now, or at least I think it makes them faster. Should make these slightly faster. Because they are, in theory, no longer territories. Never mind. Maybe that's not how it works. Still territory. Is it when I full state? Maybe it was just a month thing. Maybe it's just a month thing. Let's check these ones. Just a month? No, okay, it doesn't have to be full cord. Gotcha. Okay, solid stuff. Now how about I bring you over here, Outraged Countries, and... Well, let's see who we can be better friends with. This vassal is already being improved. Uh, I've improved to max with you. Who hates me again? Is it Persia? Well, they don't like me very much, but... Hates it. Hates a strong word, I don't know. Yeah, you guys despise me, though. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Again, you're not going to do anything about it, but I have my doubts sometimes. Royal marriage from Genoa. Oh, that's cursed. Ugh, royal marriage from... Yeah, sure, whatever. Just the idea of a royal marriage with Genoa is weird, because they're always a republic. Anyways. So, 148 for Cairo itself. It's all good and fine. Uh, also, I can finish this off with no consequences. Great stuff. Discipline and army morale recovery. Good stuff. No longer need this up. And I'm losing just a little bit of cash. But I can turn down the army. Well, there we go. Suddenly we're making money again. I could upgrade you guys. Nothing I need to spend the money on, right? But surely something I probably should spend the money on. 0.2, nothing super useful here, nothing, well, Tunis is fine. Production's pretty okay, though. I feel like I'm willing to do this. 0.24 for the production there. Uh, and I might as well do a little bit extra. I don't need those ships upgraded. Not really. I could use them, but I don't need them. Also, how's the trade doing over here? Pretty solid stuff. Pretty great, actually. Nine ducats a month. Good stuff. I imagine we could, yeah, definitely upgrade Cairo as well. It'd be a great idea. Has a marketplace. You guys are producing extra grain, which normally would be pretty useless, but because you have the number of uh, goods produced, it's pretty okay. Oof. Corruption for another, another one here. Yeah, no, I'm going to go for it. Of course I am. Of course I want more, uh, more cardinals. It'd be great. Still unsure whether or not I'll swap. Maybe I'll just... 
Maybe I'll figure it out once we get to the League War. It'll happen eventually. Maybe I'll participate. On the very obviously winning side. Whenever we manage to get there. Uh, now we're losing some pretty fat cash. It's because of corruption. Oh, that's true. That's very true. Okay, what do I want here? France like me? Not really. I don't care about France's opinion. They're like a dead kingdom. They've turned themselves into a de facto duchy. With this border gore. They've turned into a French duchy. Ironically. Anyways, where is this? Rosetta. I know where that is. I don't need to click that. Over here, you are solid with trade power. So I'm going to go and give you some extra. 61! Oh, baby, that's some good trade power. That's the uh, global trade type of trade power that you're looking for. That's the really solid stuff. There we go, 44%. And the more we have here, technically, the more we'll pull forward. See, we have 10% here. Yep, pretty solid stuff. It says we transfer 1.22, but surely I don't have that much. Incoming and local. Outgoing, total. Yeah, surely I'm not pushing that much. Now, someone's using my influence to push towards Hormuz. Yeah, it's mainly using my influence to push towards Hormuz. But it's being used everywhere, because I'm not actually using my influence. So, even the Mamluks are using my influence, technically. And I'm pulling forward just by existing. Having a little bit of extra here, so I'm pushing forward as well. So, not bad. Let's go and convert you. Oh wait, hold on. Is Cairo almost, like, reasonable now? No way, right? Almost. Why is that? Territory minus 2%. And if we made it faster... Oh, probably because of autonomy. That makes a hell of a lot of sense. Uh, and Genoa doesn't like me. But Genoa doesn't matter that much. Yeah, no, they still love me. There's, there's no point. That's fine. But yeah, if we turn Cairo into a proper core, which would give me uh, a large boon here, I could even decrease its autonomy to go further. But yeah, that decreases the, the cost. In fact, I will decrease the autonomy because of how much goddamn money that makes me. Usually I wouldn't, but oh, that's a lot of money. They've already risen up. It'll happen again eventually, but only when it doesn't matter as much. Austria is the new HR Emperor, right? Yes. They've re-elected, apparently. Morocco's raiding my coasts. I really should just get rid of you. Harder done than said, though. I should attack someone in Europe again. Europe's starting to feel at ease without my aggressive presence there as much. I need to show them that they're wrong. I also need to beat down the Mamluks every single time we have a truce expiring. Or else they'll instantly jump onto a coalition. That would suck. Yeah, that would be terrible. The Ottomans don't think too highly of me. Yeah, but they're doing okay. Hungary, of course, still loves me. Austria is questionable. Venice is questionable. As long as Rome thinks I'm okay, then that's not so bad. I really should invade you. I feel like that would be the best opportunity to beat Britain. You and Britain, but I'm so alone in that case. And Britain's strong, obviously. For very obvious reasons, I cannot face Britain alone. Maybe if I had a slightly, well, the economy strong enough as it is, maybe I could support a whole war like that. Wouldn't be surprised if maybe I could. Yeah, Kaido's dropped down to 450 a month. Not bad. That's totally fine. Super easy conversion. And you've converted my stuff to Protestant. Why is it this province? Why is it every single time you are the target of every single re reformation? Well, why? Why do you do this? Guts. You don't really need to be doing that. Disgusting. Anyways. We're almost at our next ability, which maybe I should promptly turn that into a holy war by declaring a war. I can also give myself the Diplo Rep and integrate Naples. Definitely true. Speaking of which, I'm gonna do that. 
There we go. Board of Captains, slightly better. Admirals, not really, but sure. Uh, let me get a spy network in there. Let me get a spy network in you as well. I feel like I need to poke some sort of opportunity in here. Could attack Provence, of course. It's just the uh, Switzerland and Trier. Who's also at war. Hmm, maybe I could take Provence. And do this. It's Occitan culture, but I can't release Occitania from it, which... Or Toulouse, sorry. Occitania? Where is Occitania? Is that even a, a tag? I have no idea. Maybe I just made that up. Probably did, to be honest. Let's get me those two as well. Good stuff. I'll decrease the autonomy of some of the bigger places. This one and that one. It'll also save me some cash, of course. Which is nice. There we go. Advisor's dead. I can replace you with a level 2 now that I have money. Not bad. Once the missionary is done, I can probably fund an entire extra army. Which will be great. It will be fantastic. So, 27 over here. Let me get started on building the extra one. I'll build it over here. Start off with that. Once those missionaries are done, it'll be uh, totally fine. Also, with my great tolerance, I don't know how often these guys will rise up again. Autonomy decreased will last a hell of a lot longer than the recent uprising. Hmm. Yeah, you'll have a little bit, a little bit more of a couple more problems for a while. Yeah, you still have a lot of separatism, so I imagine you'll still be a problem later on. Bring you guys together. Half cost level three. Is that worth my anything? Not really. Yeah, I'd say no. I'll take the diplo though. That'll be great. And now we're only, what is it, minus one from relations? There you go. Good stuff. Extra diplomat, improve relations. And a new king, apparently. Can I get an heir, please? That would be great. Uh, that requires me to royal marry, not you. No longer do that anymore, which sucks. It was great while it lasted for these, I don't know, 70 years or something. But, on, you know, alas, nothing lasts forever. Let's go and find someone else. Like a vassal, of course. Vassals love real marriages. Is that a an heir? No. Just the real marriage. Okay. Just wanted to see. France likes me better. That's ironic. <laughs> Since he'll be dead soon. So, Dunia, Piedmont, Aachen, Lorraine, Friesland. Burgundy would help, though. Hey, that's something... That's something to recognize, actually. Burgundy would be helpful here. Also, real marriage, obvious reasons. Um, that would be really, really helpful if you wanted to join in here. I could take this back for Genoa, right? Yeah, a core there. I could take this back for a core. I could hand this over to Genoa as well. I could give Genoa a lot of things, actually. Some of which are reconquests, so it wouldn't even make people that angry. Hmm. Let's do our research. France, 10,000. That's a giant L, actually. France used to be strong. Sardinia Piedmont, 19,000. Burgundy, 41,000. God damn, you guys are strong as hell. Who else is out here? Lorraine over here, I would assume 7,000. Might as well do the quick check on that one. 8,000, okay. And what was it? Aachen? 8,000 as well. Uh, it kind of feels doable. I'm just checking these, though. Diplo rep, fort defense, repel the French. Ironic. Um, missionary strength. Yeah, your ideas are not that great, huh? Well, I mean, I mean for battle, of course. Oh, there's today's timer. Yeah, you guys are not that great for the battle. For the whole battling part of, of wars. Which is great for me. You, of course, have Elan. And I'm sure you ha Yeah, of course you have Elan right now. That would make sense. Um, do you have a colony? I wouldn't... I don't see it. Do you have a colony? 
1538 and the British do not have a colony. You're scaring me, Britain. You better not be going continental, because I do see quite a few units here. You know, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm seeing quite a few units in the Isles, which is not something you usually see. I feel like this is very doable. I feel like this should be pretty much no problem at all. Bring the army up, I waste a bit of money, of course, but once this is done, it'll be great. That's a terrible deal. I have the feeling it doesn't really matter. Actually, it does. Okay, this stuff's really good. Really high, high dev land, relatively. Is it completely random? It is completely random. Never mind. So this thing over here, which doesn't matter. When it's Sabha. Completely irrelevant. And Jufra. Also irrelevant. Okay. Most of those are irrelevant, so I'm fine with it. But yeah, I'm going to start my preparations for the war with France, which I'm assuming will happen tomorrow. Because we're pretty much out of time already, so... Yeah, there's that. Oh, right, in Friesland. Well, you guys are an OPM, so... Don't imagine you'll be doing too much there. Just keep in mind you're also at war, apparently, so... Well, kind of. Yeah, sure. Let's bring these guys over. With your good general. Into Roussillon. Which cannot actually support the entire army, unfortunately. How about we do that instead? That works out a lot better. Lose professionalism or have the nobility dislike me. Also, what is... Ovid Nail? Sorry, did I not... I typed that in right, did I not? Maybe I didn't, no idea. Okay. This part over here, super irrelevant. That's just three dev. That's... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll take that. Slight unrest, but... It's not positive, so it doesn't matter. Lost a dude here, which is fine. I'll take the level one yearly prestige. Save me a slight amount of cash, because I don't need as much admin. I don't think. Uh... One of the problems is I do want to make another vassal here. That's one of my dilemmas. So I need to integrate someone, which might just be Naples anyway. I did the calculations. It's going to take, yeah, 20 years. That's what I said, so. The problem is what to actually do here. Because I'm using you to invade Sardinia Piedmont. I'm not actually trying to invade France, you know? I'm trying to break up some of this power structure. Maybe I'll just tank the Diplo. Maybe I will just tank it. I'll focus and then tank it and, and push forward into the Diplo idea group. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't invade France. Maybe there are better options. Although I don't see many of them, because Britons involve themselves in continental Europe a whole lot. Hmm. When is this truce up? 42. Four more years and then I can simply invade. Oh, this is a much better way into France, isn't it? How about this? No. This? No. You haven't gotten any of these claims, have you? Why? That's weird. Who to invade? Venice, perhaps? Perchance? No. Terrible idea. Austria? Terrible, terrible idea. We do need someone, though. We definitely need someone to invade. If it weren't for Great Britain, then I would have no problems dealing with Castile and Austria. Provence, perchance? No. France, maybe? Looks like the most promising. Sardinia Piedmont also brings in Britain. Hmm. Huh, interesting. I'll probably figure this out between episodes. For now, though, this is Corbett signing off. Hoping you had a fun time here today. And as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a special thank you to the following patrons. In the $1 tier, we have Quiet Guy, Quagersol, 
Rising Runner, DLNM, and Francesco. In the $3 tier, we have Ben Greenhagen. In the $10 tier, we have Natsuki. And in the $20 tier, we have Chewy Shoot. Thank you guys so much for helping to move this channel forward. You guys mean a lot to me, and I couldn't possibly thank you enough.